Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello, boys and girls, moms and dads. Welcome to Heroes Model School Academy. This is Mr. Lamb. I will be talking about grade five mathematics week number five and day number one today. And today we get a chance to do a quick review of what fractions are um, all through previous grade levels. Grade levels, we talked about different kinds of fractions, what fractions are, uh, proper fractions, improper fractions, mixed numbers, uh, mixed fractions, equivalent fractions, reducing fractions, the simplest terms. Let's talk about some of these concepts right now in today's lesson. All right, so what is a fraction? So a fraction is a group of numbers that has a numerator. So this two over here is gonna be a numerator and a denominator and a dividing line. So in other words, if you have a number like this, two divided by three, or two thirds, in some cases they are gonna call it that, or two over three, two divided by three, two over three, that's a fraction. So there are three major components to the fraction, right? So there is one over here, this is the numerator, is going to be on top of the dividing line. Two, that's the numerator. Three is gonna be the denominator, that's the number below the dividing line, and then you got the dividing line, just like that. All right, now your fractions may be written like this as well. This is the division symbol. You're gonna have two dots, one on top of the line and one below the horizontal line. The numerator is gonna be written before the division symbol and the denominator is gonna be written right after it. So um, well, hopefully you can remember this. And sometimes we can write fractions like two slash three. The numerator is going, going to be in, on top of the uh, slanted line like this, and then the denominator is going to be right after it. So th these are different ways that people write fractions, and you got to be familiar with that. All right, what is a proper fraction? Well, a proper fraction is going to be a fraction where the numerator is less than the denominator. An example of that is going to be 2 divided by 3 that we talked about, but of course another example is going to be 3 divided by 5, all right? The 3 here is going to be less than uh, the 5, so this is a proper fraction because the numerator is less than the denominator. Uh, An improper fraction, um, on the other hand, the numerator is going to be greater than the denominator. So for example, if you, ha if you were to have things like 6 divided by five, well, that's an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. All right, can you think of an, another example? Yeah, nine divided by eight. Well, that's correct, that's an improper fraction. All right, another example for me? Well, 13 divided by 12, for example. That's an, another improper fraction. All right, what about mixed fractions? Now, when you have a whole number plus a fractional component of it, then you have a mixed number or mixed fraction, all right? Uh, so that's, for example, this one is the one over here is the whole number component of this total number, which is one and a half, all right? What about the concept of equivalent fractions? Well, an equivalent fraction is going to be, well, equivalent fractions are gonna be fractions that are worth the same value uh, when reduced together. So for example, half is gonna be the same thing as two out of four. That is correct. Which is gonna be equivalent to three out of six, which is gonna be equivalent to four out of eight, right? Uh, reducing fractions to simplest terms means that you start with a fraction like this, eight divided by 24, and then you can say uh, divided by eight over here, and then divided by eight over there. Well, if you were to do that, you're gonna have one out of three. So one third is the simplest form of eight divided by 24. We cannot reduce 
one third any further. All right, so when you get to a stage where you can't reduce the fraction any further, that's gonna be the simplest term, the simplest version of that fraction over there. So a couple of concepts that uh, you wanna make sure you put to mind and put to memory, uh, what fractions are, what proper fractions are, what improper fractions are, mixed numbers, mixed fractions, equivalent fractions, and reducing fractions to their simplest terms. All right, did you get something from it? I sure hope so. Just go ahead and turn to pages 46 and 47 in your workbook. You are going to see additional exercises over there. Uh, until next time, remember God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. Your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you?